Hey everybody, welcome back to Snorkel.tv. Carl Schuf here, and today I want to just show you guys a little oddity inside of Flash, and that is when you take a movie clip that has children elements and you set that parent movie clip's alpha down, all the child elements have their own semi-transparent effect applied, and it looks really kind of horrible. The best way to explain this is just to show you. Let's take a look at the Swift that this FLA generates. And take a look at Darth Vader. When he fades in, notice how you can see his feet through this button here, and you can see his hand through the starburst that we have. Just looks kind of crummy. We can also see this line going through the Buy Now button. Look over to Yoda. It's a movie clip built the same way with the image, the stroke, the new and Buy Now callouts all the same way as Invader. But you'll notice that Yoda appears to be as if he was just one flattened JPEG fading in. Okay, But here, these individual elements are semi-transparent and overlaid, and it just is distracting to the animation. This looks so much cleaner. So let's take a look at what's happening. If I, in my FLA here, let me just scrub through painfully slow to make it clear. You see, Yoda here, Everything looks nice, but here with Vader, you see his feet through the buttons, you see his hand through the blue background and the text. It's just really, really not so good. This looks much cleaner. Let's go to the start file, and I'm going to just select the Vader clip on the stage, and if I go over to the alpha and fade it down, you'll see it happening right before your eyes. If I click on Yoda, same thing will happen right before your eyes. As we decrease the alpha on the parent, all the children elements become semi-transparent themselves, and you can see through them and they overlap and you get darker shades here. Just not good. So, let's show you how to fix this. First off, I don't want to take credit for this. Um, let's go to uh, go to and learn, and a long time ago Tandem Adam suggested his solution is actually quite simple. When you have a transparent movie clip, also put a blur filter on it. Ah, interesting. So let's uh, go over to Flash here, and let's take his advice. I'm going to select Yoda, and let me put a blur filter on him. Now, I don't want him blurred, so I'm going to zero out both the X and the Y blur. And now, when I fade him down, Look at that. Ha 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 ha. Let's compare him to Vader. Fade down, and you'll see clearly the line through the by now and his hand, whereas Yoda looks great. Now, in my quest to be as efficient as possible, notice that when I let's take that blur filter off, well, half the time, whenever I want to use this blur filter, there it is, no blur filter, it looks bad. Well, I'm, chances are I'm going to put the blur on, and then I'm going to have to zero it out. Well, let's save a step. Well, another filter we can use, and I love this, is the Adjust Color filter. By using Adjust Color, I don't need to reset anything. And you'll see that that works just fine. So now Yoda can fade in, and he looks as if he's just one flattened JPEG. Wrapping up, let me just double-click on Yoda, just so you can see that he has these individual pieces here. If I put the new over his face up here, you know, you'll see that we're not going to see his ears through there. Go back to scene one, and again, when I fade him in and out, it looks like just one image. All right. If I take that adjust color off, you see that would look dumb seeing his head beneath there. So there you go. All right, folks, that's it. Um, hopefully this helps, and uh, pass it on to your buddies. If you know of a better way of doing this, please comment below. I love the solution because it works, but I'd like to know more. Later.